Welcome back to another episode of Inward News. It's your boy Dre. Uh, happy New Year's. It's like these episodes are coming out day after the holidays. Last week it was Christmas. This week it's New Year's. So, you know, Happy New Year's, everybody. Uh, still me. You know, no one gets the holiday off. So you get slightly not as good editing this week. Let's get to this because I got some gumbo on the stove and I'm trying to enjoy that while watching a movie. The Bad Guys animated film. I think it might be good. I don't know. Aquafina's in it, so maybe hit or miss. And New York starting yesterday, as this will be out on Monday, starting January 1st, all children under 12 years old will not be charged with any criminal activity unless it's like a homicide. Uh... I'm sure punishment will still be a thing, but you know, no criminal charge will be allowed. This is just for the state of New York. So dumb parents about to have their kids out being idiots. I know that's about to happen. They're about to have kids doing all kinds of stupid stuff, just getting stealing and whatnot. Because you know, as long as it's not nothing crazy, you're good. Uh, although I'm sure there's gonna be punishment for the parents. Cause like I said, it's gonna be a bunch of Parents having kids do crimes like steal food and whatnot. But like if you gotta steal food, I understand that's a different issue. So, you know, we need to get programs in place to help those type of people. But the idea of kids doing crimes is crazy. But I'm quite sure the parents is gonna be charged with like neglect or abuse or something. So it's not just gonna be like a free for all for children. Uh let's see. Uh Japan is offering families. $7,500 per child to permanently move out of Tokyo because they are just that overcrowded. Uh, apparently, there's currently 35 million people living in Tokyo. I don't know too much about the size of Tokyo in comparison to the rest of the world. I just know it is a very uh, relatively small city. It's just very populated. But the infrastructure in Japan is crazy because they handle you know, their amount of people very well. But at the same time, I think they have to like shove people inside carts when they do like public transportation. They actually physically like mush people in there because it's just that packed. Like that's now nah, we don't need that. We don't need that at all. We need to do that for like New York, Atlanta, like LA and whatnot. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Now on to the our hiring segment. Balsy K Inc. is a graphic design company. Uh, this is a young business owner. She's out here. Before even getting a degree, she got an LLC. So shout out to the young and out here hustling. Uh, any type of designs, flyers, graphics, uh, events, promotions, all that. If you need a graphic designer or if you need a graphic design, hit her up. She got you. Lux Cake Company is a uh, it's a cake company, luxury cake company. They got all kinds of designs and and uh, what you call it, tricks and whatnot. They can set it up any type of way. I seen one where they had like look like a, a picture of what you call it, a girl in a bikini for one of her birthdays, and they had it wrapped around the cake. So not only can they set up nice design cake, they can do like the edible printing and whatnot, so you can eat your best pictures. If you ever took a selfie that said, I deserve to be a meal, you can now be a meal. You can now have somebody literally eat your cake. Whoops. Moxie Mats is a mat making company. They make all kinds of uh, mats, hand printed or hand painted, and they claim they don't fade. I'll be the judge of that. Send me one for free. I promise you, if it fades, you'll never see that video again. I'm going to make it as soon as it comes out. But, yeah, they make all kinds of custom mats, uh, like welcome homes and all that. You can have custom stuff on there. I think there was, like, pictures. I don't know what the extent of the picture is because they did say they're hand painting. So I'm sure you could do, like, a little simple design, some that needs a stencil. Don't send them in, like, a family portrait of grandma and expect them to paint that perfectly. 
Also, this is a mat for stepping on. Please don't send your grandma's face to have her stepped on unless you really don't like your grandma. We've all been there. Some some grandmas aren't that cool. Bianca is a author. She has like a bunch of books. She's currently like putting up like, you know, check out the books I've written. And not only is it an extensive list, some of the lists have like one through three. So that means she has written multiple series. I have no idea how old this woman is. But I just know that I have tried writing books since I was 15. I always get distracted. I can't do books. Books are too long. I can't. I just don't have it in me. Funny enough, I can write movies, though. Hit me up if you need a movie written. But uh, check out her books. She has romance. She has urban books. I think there was one that said urban romance because she just combined genres. But yeah, check out all her books. I'm quite sure if I remember looking at that thing right between the one through threes, I say she has about anywhere from 25 to 30 books currently written. So if you like binging books, go ahead and get at her. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it for this week. Uh, the editing should be back to normal next week because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done editing. This is just I gave Noah a little holiday break. Christmas was because I took forever because I was also on vacation and I didn't record it before I left. So I took forever and I was about to make him work hard on Christmas or Christmas Eve. And this time it's New Year's. So I just like, man, hey, let the man get two weeks off. But yeah, Noah will be back next week. Uh, that's it. Bye.